Hi, I'm Justin Smith, sports performance coach here at Bishopsgate Golf Academy. And we're going to be going over the hip hinge. So our students ask us all the time, why are we doing this funny looking movement that doesn't really make sense? I don't really get it. Why are we going to use this? Well, you use the hip hinge in everyday life and in sporting, in, in all sports, and in the gym all the time. So what does a hip hinge look like? A hip hinge is, is simply using your hips to bend over, okay, and usually pick something up off of the floor, okay, or do some kind of other athletic movement, jumping, landing from a jump, okay, and you're using your hips for the motion instead of bending through your spine, okay, which we definitely don't want to do. You do that over and over and over repetitive, you're going to have some back injuries, which is the number one injury basically you know, with, with just people in normal life and especially athletes. So what the hip hinge looks like is and how we teach it is we're going to use a stick or a dowel rod right on our back. Okay, we're going to have it on the back of our head, in between our shoulder blades and right on our tailbone. It has to have those three points of contact the whole time. If we lose any of those three points of contact, hang on my neck, that means I'm bending through my spine and I'm not using my hips. So I'm going to stand up nice and tall, my feet are underneath my hips. I'm going to have a little bend in my knees. Then I'm going to shift my weight back. My chest comes forward. I'm going to stop at about 90 degrees or maybe a little bit above. And then I'm going to stand back tall. I'm going to be nice and long through the spine. Soft knees. Sit back with the hips. So my weight is shifting backwards. My chest comes forward. And then I come up. So from the front view, I'm up tall. Little bend in the knees, shift my weight back. I usually cue people to touch your hips to the back wall or whatever's behind you, and then stand straight back up. When do we use this? Okay, you're out in the course. Okay, you just made a hole in one. Okay, I'm picking a ball up, right off of the ground or out of the cup. Okay, I'm marking my ball in the green. Okay, I'm setting, I'm setting my ball on my tee in the tee box. You're picking up your backpack from school. Okay, you're doing like this. You're deadlifting in the gym. Okay, you're squatting in the gym. There's so many things that we use this hip hinging motion for. And if you can do it correctly and use the right joints and the right muscles, you're gonna prevent a lot of back injuries for yourself in the future.